14 Dog Adventures, run boy, run. Everything you need is here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Hey, welcome back to Sporting Dog Adventures. On this week's training tip, we're going to get Rommel introduced to shed hunting. He's pretty excited about it. Rommel's been retired. He's got through his master title. He's an accomplished hunting dog. He was on the couch one day and I said, you know what, buddy? We got a new job for you. We're going to teach you to shed hunt. And the first thing that I decided I needed to do for Rommel was get him introduced to a shed and actually have it in his mouth. This isn't like a normal retrieving dummy. It's not like a bumper. It's not like a bird. It's not soft. It's not pliable. It's actually a piece of bone. So we want to get him used to having this in his mouth. Another thing you can do, got a scent from Conquest here, a deer scent, and you can apply a little bit of that scent to the shed so that it gets him used to the smell. Once you have your shed, you're going to work with the dog into short grass so that he can go out, pick it up, but he's also learning scent discrimination. He's also learning the scent of a deer on the horn and he'll put that together. We'll give him his praise and from there, it's gonna be a fun game for him. Now you can see that Rommel had it in his mouth He's bumping it around his mouth because it's not normal. It's not something he's used to. But that's what we gotta get him familiar with. If you don't, you're gonna get him out in the field and they might find sheds and not bring them back. And if they're in heavy cover, he'll never even know they found one. You wanna make sure that your dog is through its obedience. I like to have them collar conditioned and through trained retrieve because you're in essence asking them to be a hunting dog, just hunting for a different thing other than a bird that most of us use our dogs for. So again, it's just playing with them, having fun. That a boy here. And then once you get them from the light cover, you can move into like a more traditional, heavier cover where you're going to find your sheds, like the woods behind me. There's a lot of scent kits out there where they have rubber horns. I actually like to stick with an actual deer horn itself, again, for the familiarization of the dog. So when getting them used to an antler shed, give them at least a week, and that'll make you more successful in the field. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's training tip. Now let's get back to the hunt more high-flying adventures. If you'd like this video, check out our channel and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash sporting dog adventures TV.